My name is Sofia Mulanovic. I am 37 years old and I serve for Peru. I've always lived in this little uh, small beach town called Punta Hermosa, which is like uh, one hour away from Lima, that is a big city here in Peru. I live uh, in front of the ocean. My parents uh, both surf and my brothers both surf. So yeah, basically, you know, like uh, our life was about the ocean. And um, yeah, when I was growing up, there was not that many girls in the water. One of them was my mom. <laughs> you know, I kind of looked at her like, you know, riding the waves and I was like, wow, that looks really cool, you know, and I had it in my, in, you know, in, in my blood too, you know, like I just loved surfing and loved the ocean when I was really little and there was a few other girls, but it was not that common at all. Yeah, now there's a lot of girls. I think surfing is like riding like uh, energy from the ocean, so it's it's pretty amazing, you know. It's also like self-expression, you know, that like you st stand up in a wave and you know you kind of have to read it and you know you have to express yourself in a way, you know. There's no wave that is the uh, the same as the other one, so it, there's a lot of intuition in surfing too. I think you have to be really in touch and connected to to the wave and the ocean to really understand it. Well, the ISAs have been a huge um, impact on, on my career, you know. The first time I won a big contest, it was the ISAs, you know, in Ecuador, like when I, in 2004, when I was 21. And that was my, I think, first major win. And I took that, um, you know, that feeling that you know, that, that amazing accomplishment to win three cities that year. Like I won the ISAs and then I won three cities in a, three cities in a row and it was the first time I, I have even won a city too. So I think that ISA was the start to something great and by the end of the year I, I ended up being uh, the world champion. Yes, I was inducted into the Hall of Fame. It was such a privilege, such an honor, you know, like to be around, you know, like uh, I think that same year uh, Almeric was inducted too and Bruce Irons and yeah, it's, it was it was an honor. The ISA contest is about like the love for surfing and everybody, it's like this big celebration of uh, surfing and uh, sharing this love for the ocean and everybody's so happy to be with each other and yes 2019 was uh, like a dream for me you know the whole contest I felt uh, super connected with the ocean I just felt super relaxed you know I hadn't I haven't really competed with all the girls that I competed with for ever like for so long you know so I was just really excited to see them you know they're my my idols so I was just happy to be there Also because I had the, the news that I was going to become a mom two weeks before going to Japan. So that was, it just kind of changed all my mindset, you know, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm just, you know, I'm just going to surf and like to be honest, I was like, I was totally careless, you know, all I cared was like about, um, you know, like all this new chapter of my life coming up, you know, my son and all these things. So I think that really you know, took all the pressure out of me and things started happening and happening and happening and then I was in the final and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I just won it. It was, it was a crazy, crazy experience, you know? Yeah, I felt really good and connected and, and happy. I think happiness was the, the special ingredient. <laughs> yes, but yeah, for sure it's a bummer for me, you know, to, to win a contest like that and not qualify, but I mean, I still have a chance, I have an opportunity and that's good enough. Yes, I have, I have a son. His name is uh, Theo. He's uh, one year old. Yeah, it's, it's the best thing uh, ever, you know. I'm, myself and my partner, we, uh, we had a pretty crazy 2020, you know. We had our first son in the middle of the, of the pandemic, but I mean, in a way, we were really lucky too because uh, we were able to, 
you know, share all these amazing moments with him with, without any like distraction, you know, because we were pretty much in the house the whole time. So yeah, it was a beautiful experience. For sure, it's like you are reborn, you know, your motivations are, you know, like before they were a little bit selfish, you know, just for you, but now they're like a lot like bigger and stronger, you know, because it's it's for someone else, you know, so it's it's pretty amazing. It's <laughs> I mean, I really want to qualify, it would be my dream come true, but I'm, I'm a happy person, you know, if I qualify or not, so I think that's going to take a little bit of, of pressure off me, you know, it's, I think it's, it's a good thing mentally, you know, I'm in a good place, so I think that's going to help me. As an athlete, you always see the, uh, the Olympics as, you know, like, the dream, you know, so I never thought I was going to be so close to, to, to being part of this, like, huge event, so... Yeah, it's crazy, it's happening in less than, you know, a month that I have this huge opportunity. I don't know, it's going to be a hard contest, all of them are going to be there, you know, but uh, the ways are going to be amazing and, uh, yeah, I'm, I just have to, to do it as good as last time. <laughs>